Welcome back. Today's episode is going to be about body language, more specifically gestures, more specifically still one gesture. It looks like this and it's called a steeple. A steeple is a tower on a building, but not just any building, mind you. A tower on a building which implies a sense of authority historically, like a church. So one with a belfry, with a spire, etc. etc. So this shape alone implies authority and this gesture therefore historically is believed to carry a sense of authority attached to it as a label. And yet I want to ask you if you have any specific associations. Now your associations will likely depend on your level of exposure. In other words, how many times you have seen this gesture in action. Now we all watch politicians doing this. Politicians, priests, people who like to be seen as authoritative, people who want others to believe that they have important, wise, knowledgeable things to say to others. That's why they do it. Think about it in a slightly experimental way. Imagine you see a university professor doing this in a formal presentation. What do you feel? Does it create an emotive response? And then imagine it's a priest. Does it differ? The farmer doing that, standing in front of the camera, holding his or her hands like this. Then imagine it's a convicted criminal, for instance. I know it's a bit of an extreme, but then imagine you see a convicted murderer talking to the camera and holding his or her hands like this. Does it change your feelings? A steeple has many varieties and in different languages it also has many different names. Like a steeple in Poland is referred to as wieżyczka, which is the Polish diminutive for a tower. When you change your hands a little, when you cross your finger a little, it's called, in Polish at least, it's called a basket if you, if you do it like that. Some people do it differently. If you see this gesture done like this and held closely to the body, do you have any associations with a, with a specific politician, perhaps? Take Angela Merkel, uh, believed by many to be the single most powerful woman on the planet. German Chancellor since 2005. Her favourite gesture by far is what Germans describe as the Merkel Raute. In German, Raute, the Raute means rhombus, a geometrical figure diamond shape more or less. I promised myself I would keep this second episode very very short so let me just leave you with a film recommendation. I have watched this film a couple of times. It's technically a documentary. It was made in 2010 by Charles Ferguson. Now some of you probably already know what documentary I have in mind. The title is Inside Job. It's the story of the global financial crisis but for me it's one of the most fascinating documentaries ever made about body language. See you soon.